I'm Brian Lencho and I am an IT problem solver. It is definitely one of the top ones, yes. It's, it's, probably, it's definitely the top software question. And so do you really, when they call you, do, do you really say, you know, did you try turning it off and on? Uh, <laughs> sometimes, yes. I, I've asked many times if they've rebooted it. And uh, sometimes they don't understand that necessarily logging off your account and back on is not rebooting. Rebooting actually means control alt delete and restart. That so it has to go restart. all the way black. Absolutely, it has to go all the way off to truly reset. So we see a lot of Outlook issues, and a lot of them aren't necessarily issues with Outlook. They can be issues with one of these add-in components to Outlook. Like the SharePoint or exactly. the CRM. Exactly. And so to troubleshoot Outlook effectively, out the customers, the first thing they should do is reboot, save everything you need to save, restart, and then only open Outlook. When you only open Outlook, do whatever it is causing the error to occur, and if you see an error message, take a picture of it. Because so like a screen grab or with your cell phone? If you could do a screenshot, do a screenshot and attach it to the ticket, or if you can't, if it just freezes when this comes up, then use your cell phone, and then you can, everybody has email enabled on their, their mobile phones. You can email yourself at, at, at your first name, last name at kingcounty.gov. You can email yourself the picture and then attach it down. But, but I can't get into Outlook. How am I supposed to contact the help desk at this point? <laughs> well, there's a number, uh, 263, I think it's 4357, H-E-L-P, and that will put you in touch or one of your coworkers. I'm sure if you're not able to email oh, yeah. and could, could email on your behalf. And you Uh, very often it has a code associated with it, and it, it tells me, well, it gives me something I can research. Uh, basically, the way we track these codes is we go out to the Microsoft sites, and we'll trace what that particular code means and what typically causes that, that problem to occur. Mm -hmm. And that gives us a starting point for trying to figure out what your problem actually is and how we can fix it. All right. Thank you. All right. You're welcome.